Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies with some store picked Elijah Craig small batches. I love me some EC. Not ECBP. Just EC. ECSB. We're going to test that EC style. Elijah Craig Scotch Test Dummy style. Boom, store picks. Yeah. So one of them hasn't even been open, and that's the Wichita store pick. Well, both of these, right? Um, is that it? Yeah, no, the these two. Over here. Two different stores in Wichita. Right. Auburn Spirits yes. and Central Wine and Spirits. Right. You haven't opened up I the Central Wine and Spirits. I kind of want to open it as well. No, that's just a, that's up, up to you. you. I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted. <laughs> there is no... You want to see if there's any difference? I'm... Well, we got the Notorious 10, uh -huh. which is aged 10 years. Yes. So, but otherwise, the proof's the same, and I can't remember. I'd read a bunch on this like six months ago, and I couldn't remember any of it, so we tried to look it up on a site, mm -hmm. but it looked like there was an online site that was selling it. Well, Cass Cartel okay. was the only place you could get it. Um, the only thing is, now that is a 10-year-old, so I would expect a difference, because I think most of your small batches are going to be 7 to 9. Let's leave this sealed for now. If okay. the if if we get overtaken by the need, we'll open it. No, no, may not happen. So, and we're going to keep the right hand glass is going to have the store pick Auburn Spirits. Auburn Spirits store pick. Nine, and they're all ninety four percent or right. ninety four proof, right? Now look at that. That's the ginger top, by the way. You see the difference? This is why you need our coins, because the only other choice you have is this dainty ginger top thing and you you need a man coin i've got 93 and 95 <laughs> a 97 and a 96 i called it a man coin who's that gonna offend everybody a what oh a man coin. i don't know i just yeah, you put true. it in your pocket i would say a whiskey drinker <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it's 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 almost like 93 95 yeah yeah you said that you did yeah, uh, i, I said did that i said my did you say yours i did Right in the midst of the ginger top. Probably threw you when I called out man coin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But I'm leaving the ginger top on that one just to give it a shot. All right, you my, could not put the ginger top in your pocket, though. Would no. you agree? Well, you could, but you're, it's going to break. Yeah. And then you're going to have oh, glass yeah. shards. Cut yourself. Go in places you don't need glass shards. That's all needs to be said. Yeah. All right. So we're okay. looking at the Auburn one first, now, correct? Uh, my expectations up front <laughs> is that the Notorious 10 is going to be a better whiskey. I will say this. 10 years might over-smooth it. Sometimes I want something young and punchy. So we'll see. And it smells punchy. The Auburn Spirits. It smells like it, I can smell some of the rye in there. I know. Nice and sweet. Yeah, I like it. Rich. Oh, yeah. Creamy. Nice cinnamon. Creaminess. It's like a rye creaminess. At first, it almost smelled a little bit higher proof. Are we tasting yeah. first? Uh, uh, smell the next one. Let's yeah. smell the tin. Okay, hold on. Smell well, the these tin. are in the smaller glass. Sealed but. with a ginger top. <laughs> yeah, pretty similar nose. Same. Mm, it's kind of punchy. A little lighter, though. Doesn't feel like it's got as cinnamon. much rye punch. Yeah, I got some of the rye, dusty rye. Yeah. I'm in there. If anything, it's sealed tighter because it's ginger top. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, there's more punch on that, I'm mm. telling you, nose-wise. People are going to be yelling, it's in a different glass. Mm -hmm. Use the same glasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. don't okay. care. We're good enough. We can tell. Mm. Really? Rich, standard bourbon notes. There's some cherry, oak, caramels, cinnamons, vanilla. Nice mouthfeel. A little much on the oak for me there, though. Yeah. Really, for, uh, I'll guarantee cherry, this is seven to wood, nine. You guarantee? Mm -hmm. All right. Good to know. I'll just go with your guarantee there. I don't know how. Mmm. I like it. It's good. More oaks there than I would like. It's not bad. I that, just, not as much, I don't want as much oak. Yeah, that one actually does have some oak to it. Mm -hmm. 
definitely. So uh, good. And I remember, um, I knew you picked one up. I did not. I believe this was twenty seven dollars. Price, yeah. Uh, they had it on sale at twenty two for a while. There had a whole end cap full. Of All right, going to the little one. Removing said ginger top. I know. I think the nose is pretty similar. Mm. We'll see if the ten years makes this one richer. Hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Immediately, it was more velvety yeah. on the mouthfeel. Fainter. Everything's a little more subtle, though. I think it is almost a little bit smoother. Everything is is uh, melded together a little bit better. That could be the, the this one being a little bit younger. It's just a little bit harsher. Yes. Not yep. harsher in a bad way. It's just uh, showing that it's a little bit younger. Here's the other thing. I don't get any of the oak in the finish here at all. Not as much. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm not getting hardly any. That one is an oaky or cask. A lot, That's interesting. A lot more richer caramels and cinnamons on the 10-year Notorious. A touch of ginger on the Notorious, too. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so this store picks a little more in your face. I can get the rye a little more. Definitely the oak a little more if you like oak. Now again, store picks are hard because you may not get that much oak in a store pick near you. Right. You just don't know. Because mm -hmm. so, they're different barrels, and this mm -hmm. one has a different barrel number or serial number on it from Central Wine and Spirits right. than the Auburn does. So yeah, you can get different flavors, different subtleties. Sometimes there's a little bit of difference. Sometimes there's quite a bit. The amount of oak in the Auburn Spirits one does almost make make it feel like it should be a little bit older mm -hmm. until you go to the Notorious 10 and just the mouth feel of it. It is richer, more velvety, almost like a it's just aged better in that cask. Let's add a drop of water. That's a good call. I think while we're here, we got to do this. <laughs> We're gonna we gotta at least take another look and see how it compares. Yeah, that's true. Uh, two different store picks. I wasn't sure I was gonna open or not. So now the, 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 oh, there's there the, it goes. I really, I missed it. Missed the perforation. perforation. You got it. So your store picks can be really good. Sometimes they can be stunning. not so good. Yeah, and sometimes they're stunning. Yeah. Good. Usually, though, with your prices is where you win on the mm -hmm. store picks. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get, like, take, I wish we had the regular Elijah Craig small batch uh, release here just to sure. compare. Right. Because I'll bet you we're probably even getting more, you know, just out of the Auburn Spirits one than we would be out of that. We we're look. Definitely getting more out of the Notorious I've 10. got my 12 year old back there, the old 12. And the one point seven five, but that's not a fair yeah. comparison. Yeah, we had to use that to compare it to. Mm -hmm. So now the central I lost control there. Fainter on the nose. Mm -hmm. Let me let, me, let the coin. Although we just opened her a too. couple seconds. Wow! 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 Well, wow! Well, not quite that kind of wow. Oh, no, there it is. That's good news. I'm not getting the oak here at all. I'm getting more more sweet vanilla. Mm. Mm hmm Which is mm. way different mm. for me. That's interesting. Creamier. Yeah. Mm. There's a little bit of the char. A little bit of the char just came through. It is. It's creamier. More caramels. I probably just gave them a whole lot of mouth noise. What I'm searching for here is the oak. I'm not getting it on this one. Central, right? Yep. yep. Central wine and spirits. Yeah. Uh, both to me, both are really good. But yeah, the um, the Auburn spirits one, or you know, just has a little bit more oak to it. Both really rich. Nice cinnamons and caramels. And. That is rich, though. I mean, the oak's present there, and a mm -hmm. lot of people love that oak, but it feels a little richer than this one here. Mm. 
That's interesting. I get a little more clove there too on, on this Auburn one. And part of the neat thing for the store is they get to sample barrels and pick one they want. Mm -hmm. And then they get to put their name on it as well, which is just a neat thing for them. And, and then they're able to bring their store expertise kind of into like, hey, we like this one better. So I get more flavors from the Auburn one, but an overall more smoothness mm -hmm. on the central one. Yeah, I think so. And the Notorious 10, though, I think is still the one to beat. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I think the age of it is is showing. I'll still I'll still stick by my guarantee that these are seven to nine. <laughs> I guarantee you these are between three and twenty. <laughs> if they were ten, they'd have on there. Auburn oh, ten. Oh yeah, they would claim them. Yeah, ten. We bought Central ten. We bought. Ooh, that'd be a, that's a ooh, that's a catchphrase there. Central ten. <laughs> they'd sell that worldwide. Mm -hmm. I like them. I think your store picks, and we've had Knob Creeks, um, Russells, mm -hmm. the Elijah Craigs. And, and so the difference is take your Elijah Craig small batch. They've taken 100, 200 casks, combined them together in a big vat, and bottled them. Mm -hmm. Single barrels just give you that kind of that individual characteristic. Right. Some people really like that. They like the differences. They like to see what different parts of the warehouse are different. Um, Different barrels, different. Well, I think Notorious ages. Ten even talked about the sixth floor of the warehouse. Yeah, stuff. they went. Yeah, and showed where it was. Yeah, they, where stored. it came from and whatever. I like them all. I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to score all three of them sitting here, but I mean, they're all well all good. I'm, all worth I'm it. a big fan of Elijah Craig. I think everybody knows the mm -hmm. bottle. Of wow, mm -hmm. really, the ECBP turned me on to bourbon as a whole. I was more Scotch and then rye centric. And I touched bourbon every once in a while, and then the bottle of Wow was like, whoa, whoa, let me find more to compare this to. And I've since found many different bourbons that I really enjoy. Man, for whatever reason, I think it's the higher rye mash bill. I really like the Elijah Craig's. So Yeah. I don't know if that's even really one of the higher rye mash bills. Mm -hmm. The rye that's used in it, though, is, is present. Maybe that's Pick it. it up. Yeah. Maybe that. I don't I don't even know the percentage. I wanted to say it was like 15% on the rye mash bill. Yeah, Maybe it's higher. I think you're about right. 10 or 15% um, rye mash bill. We're not good on that. If you know, leave it in the comments. Well, yeah. Scotch. Oh, wait. We got uh, oh. a Scotch God shout out. It's always good. Or a traveling dummy. Sorry. Ooh, that's right. We got a traveler. Mark Goins was in a, a Ruba. Ruba. Look at that. What kind of chill? He's, what is that? Uh, that's a beer called Chill. It's a beer know. called Chill. Yep, it's got a lime and it looks like a Corona yeah, or something along like those Corona. lines. Might be made in Aruba. Could be. Coin 642, he's on the beach. Look at that. He's got the new version. And then he's got it out mm. by the... Just a, Boy, is that peaceful ocean. looking. Looks nice. I can smell... I can hear it. I hear I the hear waves. It. I don't necessarily smell the seaweed. That's right. The well, sea I'm salt. Saying. Salt water, the ocean, the spray. <sighs> Smells like a pina colada. Wow. Goodness. Scotch it. You scotch guys. Cilantro. <laughs> Dummies. Dummies. I thought you were going to say, it smells like sex. 